that Siri and really in VR preview. But before that, let's start create a project. The first thing we're going to create a virtual reality project, and I'm using the last version of Unreal Engine. And once you create the project, you need to go to the plugin section and enable all the OpenXR plugin. Make sure it's uh, very important because Unreal Engine can really use in the OpenXR plugin. And uh, there's a no moist in VR as well, only the OpenXR, which is quite enough work well with the VR preview. So for the X scribe, I don't recommend too much to enable if you are using the mega scan assets. Otherwise, you can simply enable it if you are using. But for uh, if you are also trying to run this game in uh, your inside of VR Quest, at that point, uh, I will suggest you to uh, keep it disabled because sometimes it gives you error if not using for the Steam VR as well or the PC VR as we call. Okay, once we have this, uh, we need to go to Android section and here we need to do some configuration. First, simply it's pretty similar like the Android setup like com dot. Just keep your package name. At this point, make sure or you need to keep in mind that the VR pretty much use the same Android operating system pretty much as well. So that's why it uh, supports the APK as well too. So in my case, I'm going to export it for the Quest 3, and yeah, because we are going to use the last version. Also, just scroll down and at here you find a option called texture support so there it will be give you three texture that ASTC, ETC and you need to disable the ETC and DXTC because the quest doesn't use DSTC or DXTC texture it's only use ASTC okay and the plugin make sure because it's uh, not the iOS stuff so you can disable the all iOS plugin so it's going to make your project more lighter and it's not going to be add any external stuff also for Android you can search that Google and stuff because it's not even using the Google systems uh, too much so you can disable that stuff and also the Google gamepad and online subsystem for the Google Play okay it will be basically redirect your unnecessary files because uh, and once you have the project it will be see something like this and now what we need to do we need to create a first project so because you know we we already created a project so now we need to do some level design so let's get started so at this point so I'm using I'm just creating a simple landscape also I'm going to use the mega scan high resolution asset which is uh, more than 4k texture and as you can see this is the lights I'm giving all the uh, these two marvel so it's going to be dynamic so for material I'm going to set up this so as you can see it's looking pretty much high quality as well I'm going to put a start location where it's uh, basically basically give the our uh, uh, the program direction that we need uh, start from this location i just did doing some you know level is on the landscape and adding the navigation mesh ball this is super important for the vr otherwise you can't move in your you know map and etc so as you can see the asset is quite enough well um, let me just do some simple stuff so it's a very high resolution so i'm just put some here because i want to see that how much quality we can see or what is the basically quality it's coming on the our VR Oculus quiz like you know the sensor quality and etc so i'm going to put some foliage as well here so it will be look very crazy and also i'm putting some rocks so it will be look super cool so let me just just adjust some because i want to spawn too much so i want to give more than 500 to 800 so which is give me a you know fulfill stuff okay so as you can see it's quite looking good but yeah make sure whenever I put it uh, whenever you put everything into your VR uh, make sure there's a can be lag can be happen if you don't choose the optimized asset as well also I disabled here the nanite and lumen as well also I'm I already disabled here the virtual texture support so make sure mega scan assets or uh, texture are designed for the virtual texture so you need to uh, if you want you can by default disable it so yeah it's it's on you so I'm going to add some bush at here so I'm I want to you know some bigger scale so we can see clearly because it's very small sizes here okay so as you can see after planting this this is looking okay and uh, I'm not too, too much happy with this quality but because I want you know, the level design but I want to just test so also I add the state unit so I can see the triangles and draw calls count and now let's make a light so we'll be find the better result because there's a uh, the yellow and the warm light was big before that in the default VR project so that's why I'm going to bake it so here after the bake it's something look like this and now let's create VR preview so I already connected my quest with Quest with uh, Unreal Engine and I'm not using any link cable I'm using directly AR link cable so you can see the performance how much good as is this like 
it's uh, you know the wire is too, uh, super annoying it's on your left side so you know you will have lots of wire in case so that is super some ridiculous also because you know you need to move with that uh, cable so I'm using the AR link so which is pretty good if, uh, if, if I suggest you for the testing purpose you want to do uh, I can see the quality as well pretty good uh, like the woods you can see like how you can see at here I can pretty similar see uh, in my VR also if but if you check on the ground there's a some uh, the, uh, the grass or you know the lights are basically blinking but the rocks are pretty uh, work uh, pretty well but sharp is not too much as well if I say uh, but yeah that is uh, quite uh, good if I compare with the quest 2 so it's have tons of issue with even live, live link also but the for quest 3 I see some much better and much better performance as I get so in next video we are try to learn how you can basically add a uh, APK from the uh, from our Unreal Engine to Direct Side Quest. Also, even I created a APK from this one, but there's a problem. I see that it's uh, basically have an error, and that's why I create another uh, APK. At that point, it's work pretty much great, and you can add anything with the side quest. So you need to just do some developer account setups and pretty much some linkable setup, and it will be work totally fine. So I hope you understand. See you next video.